Shout out to Jennifer and George. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for regular uploads and your chance to be included in shout outs for future videos. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be learning how to make soap boxes in Microsoft Publisher. It's a really, really easy way. Um, I used to do this all the time actually, uh, before I started to get really busy, I would actually create the boxes in Microsoft Publisher and I would cut them out myself. <laughs> Those days are long gone, of course, but um, if you are wanting to know how to make soap boxes, just for hobby and just for gifting, this is definitely the video for you. And if you don't have a copy of Microsoft Publisher, you can follow the affiliate link down below. I have an active affiliate with Premium CD Keys and grab yourself a really inexpensive copy and a legal copy of Microsoft Office. And um, I just use Office for all my labeling. I just find it just so easy and really user friendly and you can do so much in uh, Microsoft Publisher. Right, so um, it's fairly easy to do. Um, if you've watched the how to make label video in Microsoft Publisher, you'll find this really, really straightforward and easy. Um, so here we have the dimensions of the actual soap bars that we are creating soap boxes for, which will help in the next step for actually creating the boxes in Publisher. Right, so I'm going to stop yakking and let's go ahead and start making soap boxes in Microsoft Publisher. Right, now you're probably familiar with how Publisher looks and operates <laughs> from when we um, made labels uh, actually in Publisher a few weeks ago. I released a video for that. So the concept and the way to create a soap box is very similar to the actual labels. So we're going to change a couple of settings here because um, I'm in Australia so we use um, we actually go by centimeters so we go to file and then we go to options and then we go to advanced and we want to change measurements from inches to centimeters then we go OK and then we go to page design and we want narrow margins there we go orientation will leave that landscape and leave the size to A4 right so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit all right so from the previous picture we've seen the actual dimensions of the soap that we need so it is 6.5 wide 7.5 high and 2.2 wide or de depth i should say sorry the depth is 2.2 because we, we i cut those bars at 2.2 centimeters they do shrink to about 2 to 2.1 after cure and they do shrink slightly from height as well and the actual width um, but we still like I still like to give and you still should actually half a mil half a mil or half a centimeter you should give half a centimeter clear way um, to your actual bars just so there's room for you to slot them in so if the width is 6.5 centimeters from left to right front facing then you do maybe 6.8 to 7 wide just for that just that extra clearance and um, I'll explain more as we um, do the, um, the when we draw the text box so what we do is we go to home we're just at home here go draw text box so this is going to be the front of the box so there's not going to be any lines around it so remember like last time we're going to put some lines so we know where to cut with our scissors so we're going to go to color we're going to go to black we'll put it all the way down to 0.25 doesn't need to be thick we go to okay remember that bug that i said we're going to hit okay and we're going to save it just in case it crashes on us so we're going to go back and do the other side black whoops black yep yeah. and then we're going to Go down to 0 0.25 okay and we're going to go back in because we want the top because this is the score lines that we need so we're just going to do a soft gray so it's you won't really see this when you print you'll see it very mildly but it's not going to actually affect the um the way it looks or anything like that because those are going to be the folding lines or the score lines so the paper can fold um, very easily right so we got okay 
So that's the color done. That's the front box. And now we want to change the dimensions. So the height, as I said before, 7.5. So let's just do eight centimeters for the height. And the width is 6.5. So we're going to do maybe, we can do seven. We could, we'll just do seven, just to, to keep it easy. And you, you could probably do 6.8 or 7.8 for the height as well. But just for simplicity, we'll do eight centimeters high and seven centimeters wide. All right, so that's the front of the box. That's literally going to fit our box, um, our soap when the box is done. So we're gonna copy this. So I'll do control C or you can just right click and go copy and right click and go paste. So this will be the back of the soap. So we'll leave that on the side. We're gonna copy this again. Right, so this is actually going to be the top of the front. So this is the little flap that goes around. So we have to change the size of that. So our soaps are going to be about 2.1 thick. So we'll do 2.4, just to keep it easy. The width is still gonna be seven, so we'll do 2.4 centimeters. So I'm gonna drag that over. You're gonna see these pink lines show up. So that means we've got our line perfect. There we go. Let me just zoom in a little bit. And if you see that there's a double line there, oops, sorry, clicked away from it. If you see that there's a double line, you can just click it. And then as soon as you see that the line disappears, sometimes the pink doesn't, even though it snaps in, but sometimes it's not entirely accurate. We'll see that time it was accurate. But sometimes you might just have to click it and just move it up. See when you move it, how the lines go thicker, that means they're not exactly um, aligned. So just bear that in mind in case that happens to you, you're not doing anything wrong. Just sometimes that pink snap in feature isn't entirely accurate. And it's um, the sides as well. You can see that it's all lined up nice. So that's the top flap. And then we're gonna need a smaller flap. That's what's actually gonna fold into the box. So if what I usually do is I um, do the width a little bit smaller because it, if it's exactly the same uh, size, it's actually really hard. It's a little fiddly to actually fold it through to close the box. So I usually do a little bit smaller so we can do maybe 6.6 .6 centimeter wi um, wide and the height we should do half. So we'll do 1.2. There we go. So see how that shows you in the middle. There we go. So this is the actual flap that goes into the back when you fold the box and it actually that helps close the box up right so that's literally the top the little flap that's the top of the box that's the front of the box now the bottom of the box is going to be exactly this so we're going to select that and we're going to paste it and that can that's the bottom as well that snap in fine yeah perfect we'll zoom in to make sure it's all lined up fine perfect so that's literally the front and the bottom now so now we have to do the back so that's going to be the back of the soap box so if we zoom out so we can see now that's the top or well, the flap for the top that's the top of the box that's the front of the box that's the bottom of the box and that's the back of the box so we're going to save that before we go on any further just in case right so now we are going to have to create um, the sides of the back and those uh, flaps are going to be the sides of the box and then little two flaps on each side as well because that's where we're going to put our double-sided tape and then we have to do little two um, flaps on the bottom here as well because that's going to be connecting up here when we actually go to close the box right so again we're just going to we'll just zoom in we're going to copy this 
because all we've got to do is just literally copy paste and just change the dimensions so then we don't have to do the sides and the colors so format text box we change the size and it's actually going to be um, the height's going to be the same it's the width that's going to change because that's the side of the box and we did uh, 2.4 literally we copy that because we need two of them so for actually we've got to delete that we're going to go back I just went uh, back we go format and we do the height 2.4 and the width 8 there we go and then we flip it like that, like so. And then that way you can actually type on the sides. You can do it the other way as well, but then you'll be forced to type from uh, top to bottom. Whereas if you flip the dimensions of it, then you can type on the sides. And that's the same as um, here as well. Like see how it goes from left to right. Um, but generally you put a barcode there anyway, like if you are gonna do it uh, professionally. But we'll leave it like that and then we're going to change the right side of this because that's um where we want a black line so we know where to cut so we change that to black okay okay see i did the wrong side so easy to do the wrong side <laughs> so we'll undo it. it it can be confusing at times because it's everything's reversed we're going to do the top <laughs> um and even me, even though I've done this a thousand times, I still make mistakes. <laughs> so we'll um, lock that in. We'll make another copy of that. We, what we do is literally flip it around and then move it on the other side. <laughs> I make myself laugh. <laughs> right, so we'll I'll make sure it's aligned. I think that's done. Yep, yeah, perfect. So we'll delete the text up there. That's just for reference, just to show you that you can, if you do flip the um, orientation of it from the width to the height, then it actually types on the side, which is um, actually looks a lot better. But anyway, these are just like kind of like for gifts and stuff. It's not something that you would make in large quantities for you know if you're willing to sell, if you're planning to sell your soap. Uh, because you know cutting it out by hand will take forever and if you have to say make a hundred of them well you're going to be sitting there for a while um, cutting the boxes out by hand which I have to admit when I first started doing organics that's exactly what I was doing for my veg my cocoa olive veggie bars I actually put them all in this um, this type of box and oh my gosh I was <laughs> used to sit there for quite a few hours uh, making sure that uh, not making sure that I was sitting there for quite a few hours having to cut everything by hand which I will never do again <laughs> so um, I was thinking actually we'll make this a little bit bigger and then um, I just changed the height to 1.8 so we'll just make that little flap a little bit bigger I was thinking about it maybe it's, it was a little small from what I did before and then now we're going to do two little flaps here because that's what's going to fold on these side on each side of here once we do the box so again we'll um just copy that we'll just change the orientation and then it's going to be the height it's going to be 2.4 by 2.4 and then we're going to drag this over And we're going to give it black lines on the bottom as well because that's where we're going to cut and go okay the top we're going to get rid of the lines completely because we don't need it so no outline okay oops i did it again <laughs> see how easy it is anyway i'm going to flip it because it doesn't need to be on its side so then that way we're working with something that we can easily change so we'll go none, there we go. There we go, perfect. So we'll copy that, paste. 
perfect. So these are going to be the two little flaps. So to make it a little bit easier, you can make it um, a little bit smaller. So maybe we'll do two centimeters, maybe 2.2. Let's try 2.2. Just going to make judgment. We'll try 2.1. Yeah, I think that's a good size. We'll do 2.1. Just so it makes it easier to actually all um, fold in into each other once we um, start folding the box when we print it out and we cut it. So here we're going to change the bottom to black as well because that's where we're going to cut out with our scissors. All right, so the greys, that's fine. They're going to print out really faint so you can barely see them. So that is literally the box, the soap box. Really, really simple, really straightforward to do in Publisher. And I'm just going to add a logo and I'll show you how to do that. It's very, very easy. Um, so I'll go ahead and find out. I'm going to open up another box I used to actually use. This is, um, these are the boxes I designed <laughs> that I used to actually cut out by hand. And I did get a cutting machine. I used the Brother Scanning Cut as well. And even though I did speed up the process, it was still very, very much time consuming. So we're just going to copy that um, logo. So we're going to go to Soapbox. And we're just going to drag it and you can see that it's going to that's the center and then you just click in the text box literally and then you can just center the text and just go i'm just going to just for argument say dawn test box video and i'm going to copy and literally just paste it as well there okay so for this because the box is actually what i usually do is as I'm typing, as you can see in the bottom box, if we leave it like this, when we fold the um, back of the box back and to glue everything together, if you flip the box sideways, you know, over to see the back, the text is actually going to be upside down. So to counteract that, we literally just flip it around and there we go. And that's done. So if you usually what I used to do is I'll flip it, do all the typing like in this box, Get all the ingredients done so what i'll do is i'll flip do all the ingredients in and then i will flip it back so same sort of concept so here we'll flip it back and again here we'll type the same thing in we'll center it and we'll do space and we'll do just all in caps dawn test box video we'll copy that We'll paste it over here as well. And then we'll do one for the bottom, just, to, just for argument's sake, so we know that it works. And we'll also do one for the top, just to give you an idea of where you can actually write. So we're going to save that. We might just go down a little bit for that. Right, now that we have the box done, now we have to actually just put our little flaps on the side because that's where the double sided tape is going to go. So we'll just put that there and we'll make it a little bit smaller. We'll delete the text because we don't need that there. This is where the tape is going to be to literally glue the box together. So we don't want it 2.4 exactly the same width. Um, we will probably do 2.1. Mm, maybe, maybe we'll do two. I think two is good. It's big enough. Yep. And then snap it in. We'll create another copy. And we'll turn that around. We'll snap it in. Perfect. Excellent. So that's it. Those are the little gluey flaps that we're going to do. And that is literally it. That is our box. So now I'm going to go print it. And then I'm going to take you to my soap making area where you usually see me make soap. And that's where I'm actually going to cut the video, score it, 
um, glue it with double sided tape and then put the soap in and that's it we'll show you exactly how it looks and how to do it step by step so let's go all right hello we're back and i printed it out as you can see i don't know if the camera's picking up the small gray lines you could probably make it a little bit darker it is a little faint but that's okay i can still see it but if you require them to be darker you can absolutely change it to whatever color you like all right so what i like to do just to make life easier i actually like to score so this is a scorer so this creates the line so it can actually fold over and it's actually very very precise um, i got this at kmart actually for like three dollars they don't sell them there anymore but you can get them at craft shop craft shops and you can buy them online as well so literally going to make the score lines i have to really look because the lines are a little faint <laughs> but that's okay To the score lines and then we're going to cut actually what i'll do is i'll do the score lines and then i will put the double-sided tape on it in advance and then i will cut it out with the scissors so pretty straightforward um, but they make beautiful like it's just really nice so i have to go on an angle because i'm blocking the sunlight um well i should say the natural light and the natural light's actually helping me see these very very faint gray lines i didn't realize they're so faint then again i haven't done boxes like this in a while so i don't remember what colors i used to do the score lines um this might not be entirely accurate <laughs> well i guess we'll find out soon enough Right, so this is double-sided tape. I'm just going to literally place them on now. Save me doing it later. All right, so this paper is actually 150 GSM. It is a little, like it's thicker than normal paper, but I don't have any 250 GSM paper anymore because I don't do boxes like this anymore. <laughs> Um, so I haven't really needed to buy the thicker paper. So literally, I'm just going to cut. And this is actually the same scissors I'm just going to cut around just to make it easier. These are actually exactly the scissors I used when I used to... Um, do the boxes. I've had these scissors for such a long time. It's one of the best scissors I've ever gotten. So I'm reluctant to actually change scissors because it does a very accurate job at cutting. So I'll move that aside. I'm going to put that in the recycling bin as well. So I'm going to stop yakking. I'm going to just finish cutting this. Sorry, I keep holding this up. I know you want to see it. I'm literally just cutting around the lines. Um, so I'm going to stop yakking and then I'm going to finish cutting this. And then when it's all assembled, I will start talking again. So see you shortly. <laughs> Right, so we're back and that's the box. So it's a little, it's the paper is a little thin, obviously if you use a much thicker paper, it'll, it'll 
flat, flat will stay in. Um, and yes, I, I would recommend minimum 250 GSM. 200 GSM will be all right. This is 150. I don't think that's enough because um, that just might. But you can always just put some double-sided tape there as well if you don't have any other paper um, and just kind of stick it like that and then that'll be fine. Um, but that's how I used to do my soapboxes and as you can see, that's why we keep a little bit of leeways uh, like inside as well. So there's a little bit of room for the actual soap to move around and um, because if you do it exactly like the dimensions of the soap, then when you go to actually put it in, you'll have to kind of like force it in. And um, yeah, so that's just the way to do it. And um, I just, that's how I used to do it. And if you're only doing a couple of them for a nice gift, I mean, you can do personalized messages there, just, you know, ingredients list there. And, uh, you know, hello, you know, um, gifts from such and such, you know, love whoever, whoever's making it. Um, so that's how I actually literally used to do it in Publisher and um, really, really easy. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, don't forget that uh, in the description below, if you don't have Microsoft Publisher or Microsoft Office, um, I have an affiliate with premium CD keys and grab yourself a really affordable copy from there and you get 7.5% off. And it's also a great way to support the channel because I receive a small commission from it. So thank you very much, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, happy boxing.